spinning kick, the spinning heel kick, because there was a John Jones knockout on Saturday. But every spinning maneuver is set up the same, whether it's spinning elbow, spinning back fist. In this case, it's a heel kick, but it could be any, any kick. It could be a back kick, right? It could be a spinning crescent kick. It's all dependent on the footwork. And the footwork is generally that my lead foot needs to cross the center line on the triangle. So like imagine I threw like a left hook, maybe I hit it, maybe I miss it, but now I step and now my left foot is ahead of my right foot. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna pivot and you're gonna look first, because I wanna see the target that I'm gonna hit, and then the leg is gonna come out. One more time. So, but for example, if I threw a left hook and I step, spinning elbow, spinning back fist, it's all gonna be dependent on the same force. So we're just gonna do a couple on the left and a couple on the right. So if I have a left lead, Cross the left foot over, turn and look, and hit it. And eventually, what you want to do, it can even be like, I just jab. I jab and I use that footwork. That's how Jones set it up over the weekend. But like I jab and I cross, I turn and look, right? But it should just be turn and look kick. And it depends on how the person moves and your range and everything. So often you're going to hit it and you're going to turn back. Or you're going to move the person and you could turn all the way through. That's okay too. All right. Then the other side, the exact opposite. Right foot crosses over, turn and look over the left shoulder, and then hit. Okay. Let's just try that. Some kind of lateral movement, like a hook, can take you there, especially if you miss. But even if it's if it's like an eye rake or a fake, that can do it. But anytime one leg is in the air, that can make the footwork happen. So like if, if I shield block, I could step over, or a better use case would be like a foot jab. So I foot jab or front kick, and now I just step through, and now I'm back in the same orientation for the turn. And then I can hit it. We talked about you just basically disguise the fork behind something like jab and walk off and then make the fork happen. But the foot jab is even better because you're actually putting straight pressure on the person, your leg is in the air, trying to move back unless I push it. So when I'm here, see now I can just drift it over and turn. And you can use the same thing, like I can go one and I can come in with the elbow, or it could be a spinning back fist or any spinning maneuver, right? So that's what we're gonna work on next. Is just switch jab, let it drift, turn and fire, and come back. Okay, so this is not necessarily for combat. It's just to get you accustomed to the leg work. So I'm going to go jab cross hook, and that means I'm going to start on the right side. So I'm going to go right round kick. You are going to step back, yeah. Left round kick, and I'm going to turn back and give him the shoulder. So I go with this side kick, and that's going to create the drift forward, and then I'm going to turn and do the spinning rear heel. So from the start, it just alternates. So left, right, left, right, left, right, left. If you want to try the other side, all you got to do is start with the other hand, right? So we would go cross, hook, cross. Now, I, I didn't make any of these up. These are just classic JJ skills from Minnesota. A lot of times they'll use this as a warm up. Because he does a pure, not pure, I don't want to use that term, but he does a JKD only class that's all empty hand. Then he does a collie class that's all weaponry. So sometimes we'll do just the leg work out of this side of the warm up, we'll put it in the combinations. Anybody need to see again? Cool, let's try that. Thanks, sir.